Hey, what's good? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a good day. It is your boy. He's finally back. The upload schedule is crazy. Shout out to my editor. Shout out to all the people working behind the scenes, my staff. You know, there's so many people that allow me to make my content. My thumbnail guy as well. So I appreciate you. I'm going to be uploading every other day on this channel until I burn out. So make sure to subscribe and like the content. Let me know in the comments what else you want me to see. I've got a load of videos lined up, which we're going to be doing. I've passed two 200k accounts within three days of taking the challenge and then we're going to combine them after i pass phase two i have a two million funded challenge coming out very soon where basically i buy all of the challenges from the prop firms and then connect them to a copier do the do all of them at the same time it is risky it's about a six thousand pound investment if you want to see that like up this video comment down below if you want to see it because i will bring you in we're actually going to talk about trading today and how to be consistent in forex or even any sort of trading crypto you name it we can do it baby so without further ado check out the free trades check out the exit usd group all of that good stuff the free trades is popping join up nearly 2100 people it's free and they call gold buys exit usd let me just show you quickly what trade they're in 1822 entry which is down there 1822.50 entry which is right here as you can see bang look at them buyers bro look at them buyers bro look at them buyers bro free trades got in this 20 pip sl of course 18 20 50 is the sl never got touched we're aiming for 18 50 but look let's just say 18 42 50 because that's a that's 200 pip it's it's that easy it's that easy with us and free trades got into this so make sure to join up it's the best without further ado let's get into the video so looking to be consistent trader are you putting in too high lots trading too high risk for your size account or look no further we're going to be talking about loads of stuff so hopefully all of you listening that are having problems with trading right now can actually take note and do better in the end of the day you can only improve as time goes on it's all about the long journey not the short journey so make sure to always remember that so first and foremost the basic of the basic risk management if you are not using a risk management app then I do not know what you're doing. I'm going to explain to you basically how it does it. There's an app called Stinu and Gen Boys Girls. What you do is you put your currency. I trade XUSD, so we're gonna put it in to the risk management app. All you have to do is put your SL. So we are 20 pip SL, so we're gonna put 20 pips. We're gonna put the account size 200,000 as an example. Now, we've got our account size at 200K, stop loss at 20K. All we have to do now is calculate it and do you know what this app does it for you so when you hit that calculator button bang it shows you it and you go down to 20 pip sl and then it tells you what lots you need to use i think it's about a 0.5 could be 0.2 it's about that that sort of range where you're risking one percent of the account size why is this so important because i don't know what the industry is really like with live account trading but when i started there was no such thing as risk management. And this was only like five years ago. No such thing, six years ago. So I was using a 1.0 on a 500 pound account thinking that this is okay. I then lost 120, 50 quid and I'm looking at my account and they're, they're telling me, you know, it's gonna be fine. I'm down, I'm up to 350 quid, down 150. That is a huge percentage of the account already lost. Over 25 to 30% lost just from one trade now if you used to risk manage you would not be losing 20 to 25 percent you would only be losing one percent you never ever move your sl away from your entry uh, sorry you never move your sl away from your stop line because if you do that you're adding more risk into your trade now you don't want to be doing that once you enter that trade and it hits stop line as an example you then just stay away from the markets take a break look for another setup but not too soon take your time there's no need to rush it you could look for another trade let's say you do something on tuesday morning you you hit an sl you don't have to trade until friday or even next week you can take it slow there's no need to over trade and also to take trades that you don't 100 believe in because there's something up here that will tell you to enter it go on enter the trade but you gotta make you gotta you know be more dominant 
take control of the situation and do not re-enter just take it slow that is a key thing in trading and obviously this is how to be consistent so you need to get yourself a trading plan put in a notepad put in your phones put, open up notes put a list of things what you want to do to improve your trading in terms of only trade twice a week how many times can you consistently only trade twice a week it shouldn't be hard we're not out here with gambling addictions we need to think more smarter more better and not as a gambling mindset so make sure to remember that don't over trade second one don't move sl wash it in a trade only sl entry so this is another way you could be consistent moving your sl to entry allows you to have a risk-free trade in the world are you able to make money holding something where it's going to be risk-free in terms of you lose nothing there's nothing so when you're in a trade and you're plus 30 pips you move the sl to your entry that you got into the market if it was a buy or a sell it says it on the app it says it on the trade what your entry is you move that entry to your sl so if it comes back there's no emotions in, involved and it goes back to the first rule you're not going to go back into the market if it hits your entry you're just going to chill out take a chill pill and go again remember this is all about self developing your skills as a trader this isn't about gambling trying to flip accounts and all this sort of stuff this is trying to be the best consistent trader you can possibly be now going back on to another subject where it's about the currency pair this is a big one i see too many people trading multiple currency pairs like they are the bloody wolf of war street you just take a chill just take a chill you only have to trade one pair and you only have to trade that once a month if you want to remember if you had a 10 million pound account, I say this all the time, you would not be going in and out of trades left, right and center. If you made 100K, you would just be like, that's it. I'm done for the whole month. Even if you made 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 bags, you are done for the month. That could be just one trade. Yet, for some reason, we have a bad mindset when, and it makes us want more. It's a greedy mindset, a greedy concept, and we have to flush that out of our systems and not be greedy. And maybe this is just self-developing over time when you're trading on the charts, but you have to learn and be better than your previous self. You need to look out for your future self, not the here now. If that makes sense, let me know in the comments down below. They're just some quick buyer tips that should hopefully help you be a bit more of a consistent trader. Make sure to when you're entering these trades, you jot them down and journal them, please. This will make you more consistent. It will keep you up to date. Make a Telegram group. Put it in an Excel spreadsheet. Do whatever you want to do, which is going to make you see results. And you have to, have to be harsh on yourself and jot and note everything down. Otherwise, you're never going to see progress. You have to take the right actions. If you guys actually want to be traders and be consistent at trading, then if you don't do any of the things I just explained, you ain't gonna get anywhere because in the end of the day, these are basic, basic stuff that everyone has to do. And honestly, if you don't have the time of day to journal your, your days of trading in terms of just spending five minutes writing it down, then you clearly don't want it because you know, in a job, some, some, you're, you're, a boss would tell you to go do X, Y, Z and you have no choice. That's how I look at it. I don't wanna be in that situation ever again. So I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get to a higher, higher level where I don't need anyone to be my financial support. I don't need anyone in life to help me. It's all gonna be me. And that is what I'm doing right now. So you guys, if you are new to the YouTube channel, like, subscribe, been your boy TJ, much love, take it easy, and peace baby.